G'day! <laughs> right, I'm not gonna prepare you for this, we're just going straight in hot. Sorry, not sorry. <sighs> it's just me, it's me doing the, uh, the voiceovers because there's no audio on the videos. Stay tuned and keep watching because I'm going to show you more videos of celebrities eating spaghetti that are generated by AI and they're just as weird. Wow! <laughs> uh, I've got a lot more videos like that coming up for you shortly, uh, but because I consider this an educational channel, I'd like to teach you something first. So that strangely alluring horror was Will Smith eating spaghetti, generated by a system that has never seen Will Smith eat spaghetti. It's all AI. And I'm kind of getting feelings of terror, possibly joy and wonder, <laughs> all rolled into one watching that. It's so weird. It wasn't that long ago that we were only just able to get AI to generate a static image from simply typing a sentence about what we want. Okay, OpenAI, give me an image of a fairground on fire. Now, video is just a set of still images with changes between each one that are shown one after another in order to give us the illusion of motion. The problem with getting AI to make a video is that because of how it works, even if you ask it to produce the same image over and over again, it will be different each time because AI makes things through a series of probabilities which may alter each time. So to make a video, you need each frame to be consistent apart from the part that you want to actually move. As I'm demonstrating here, that's an unfortunate example. Now numerous companies have been working on this problem with Runway ML being a popular one that you may have seen demoed. So here's this surfer, I've shown it to you before. Now our lovely Will Smith video was created by a system called Modelscope, a system that turns text descriptions into short videos. And I'll put a linko in the description. Huh? Oh, I'm being down with the kids. So why has this gone viral? Well, the brightest minds in AI have created this cutting edge, potentially world-changing technology, and we're just using it to create these nightmares. Now, of course, the Will Smith video opened the floodgates for insert celebrity eating spaghetti. We have Joe Biden eating spaghetti. God save America. And then we've got Scarlett Johansson eating spaghetti. Black Widow. That's, uh, that's stirred up some feelings I can't quite put a label on. <laughs> It's all just so stupid, and people love stupid things. And I know, I know these don't look real, but in no time at all, AI is gonna be making videos that are indistinguishable from real life. I mean, look at how much AI image generation has progressed in just a few months. Ugh. Whoa. Now, all of this has got stock photo and video companies like Getty and Shutterstock very scared. Why search through hundreds of potential videos to get what you want when an AI can generate exactly what you've asked for in seconds? They might have noticed the Shutterstock watermark on a few of these videos, and that's because the training data used to teach the AI uses millions of copyrighted images just scraped off the internet. And we're starting to see these stock companies sue the living bejizers out of AI companies for basically stealing all of their products. It's gonna get very messy very quickly. And some of these AI companies might be out of business before they can really get going. But I guess the geniuses that work for them will just go and carry on their work somewhere else. Geniuses? Genii? Now before we go, I couldn't help but try making a few of my own non-spaghetti related videos using the Modelscape system. May I give you the world premiere of Cat in Sombrero. And going back to the still image demo earlier, Fairground on fire. That looks pretty nasty. And whatever the living heck this is. If you go to yotty, yotty.co.uk, you can sign up to my newsletter, which I'm gonna be putting out about AI and tech. I've only just launched the sign up for it and I've got one person subscribed to it at the moment. So help me boost that up a bit. I might just email them actually, see how they're doing. Also, I got an email yesterday saying I've got access to something I've been waiting for for a while, which is going to kind of basically destroy the special effects industry. So subscribe for that. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> what can you see this disrupting? What could you use it for? Will it affect you? Let me know in the comments. If this video has entertained you, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Toodle pip.
Bye bye for now. Adios. Au revoir. In West Pasifonia, born and raised in the kitchens where I spent most of my days, chilling out, mixing, boiling all cool, and tossing some noodles inside of the pool when a couple of chefs, who were up to no good, started cooking trouble in my neighborhood. I couldn't want food fight and my mom got scared. She says, you're moving with your auntie and uncle lasagna.